hello my awesome audience you're welcome back again to my channel in this video we'll delve into the inner workings of the nginx ingress controller which is a cornerstone of efficient traffic management within kubernetes cluster okay as organizations navigate the complexities of modern it architectures understanding how ingress controller optimizes traffic flow becomes very paramount okay so join me today and let's explore the seamless orchestration of inbound traffic the dynamic routing capabilities and the robust security features that make the nginx ingress controller a vital component in Kubernetes deployment. Additionally, I'm going to be explaining this uh, with this architectural diagram, okay? So, uh, right from the client to the application, how the traffic flows will be explained in details, okay? So, ensure you're comfortable and let's get started. Also, I have a video where we deployed this Nginx Ingress controller to AWS EKS, okay? So, if you're interested in that video, it's going to pop up on your screen right now or you can as well get the link in the description below and ensure you watch that after this video let's get started please give me a thumbs up because this video is gonna be interesting subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so click on the notification icon that way you get notified each time i publish a new video thank you let's get started an ingress controller just as we've talked about node port and load balancer services in a cluster and you know these are suitable for external access to your services or your application um they actually they, they have limitations okay they have limitations and they can't really be used when it comes to managing more complex routing and handling multiple services that is why we are going for ingress controller okay in kubernetes an ingress controllers or an ingress controller is very crucial for efficient management of external network traffic all right so this ingress controller basically offers us a more resource efficient and scalable solution for providing a single entry point for external traffic ingress controller will give us a single a single point for our external traffic all right imagine where you have multiple services in your kubernetes cluster you don't need to say provision a uh, load balancer for each of those services for you to expose each of your service or your application you don't need to be spinning up load balancer for that number one is very very costly secondly it is not really that efficient when it comes to managing complex routing and all that it will be more complex uh, before you <laughs> before you think of it and that is not so efficient that that's why we are deploying an ingress controller today to help us in efficient routing system in our cluster and also to reduce the cost for the various ingress controllers basically yeah we have different type of ingress controllers but we'll be talking about ingress or uh, nginx ingress controller yeah we are using nginx ingress controller and this is basically an open source kubernetes ingress controller built around nginx okay and you know nginx is a popular web server and a reverse proxy server okay so this nginx ingress controller is basically uh, designed to manage external access to services within a Kubernetes cluster. All right, Nginx Ingress Controller acts as a traffic manager. Routing external requests, usually uh, HTTP or HTTPS, to the appropriate services running within your cluster. So um, don't worry, we'll see how everything plays out practically very soon. One thing with this Nginx Ingress Controller is that it enables advanced HTTP routing, TLS termination, intelligent load balancing, and centralized management of routing rules. And I really like that, okay? So you are not running around trying to uh, see which services, uh, which application is exposed with what service and all that, okay? So this in, uh, Nginx Ingress Controller will help to, it, it reduces operational costs yeah but it also simplifies SSL certificate management and it ensures consistent um, security configurations as controllers are the preferred choice when it comes to streamlining traffic management within a Kubernetes cluster 
and now let's explore this architecture this is basically how the flow will be and it will be a pleasure to uh, see you really understand this at the end of this tutorial how the traffic flows right from the user to the pod okay so let's start with the user right here this user um could be a client it could be an application that is trying to send an http request okay it could be a mobile application it could be someone from his or her browser or basically any client that wants to interact with your application and when such person or an application sends uh, a request such request will be routed to an ingress managed load balancer and what is this all about this load, load balancer will be the one that will be provisioned automatically in aws okay so this will be provisioned automatically in AWS and you know because we'll be deploying an ingress controller in our Kubernetes cluster it will provision this load balancer automatically in AWS so when a user send a traffic it will hit the ingress managed load balancer here in AWS and what is the work of this one so the work of this uh, ingress managed load balancer would be to send it over to the ingress controller in our cluster. Okay, so the ingress load balancer will just act at the, as the entry point for your cluster. This is the entry point. So it will forward it to the ingress controller. So basically, ingress controller, uh, you know, is responsible for managing and configuring uh, the routing rules based on the ingress resource we've defined. So this cannot just go ahead to forward traffic for that if it doesn't see any ingress resource to use. All right. So we'll be making use of an ingress resource. This is basically where we we'll define our, you know, how we want our incoming request to be handled. Okay. Ingress resource contain rules for routing traffic to the appropriate service. Okay. It contains rules for routing traffic to the appropriate service based on the host names and paths. Okay. So over here we'll be specifying the host name, the path, and everything. Don't worry, you see it how you see how it's done practically. So once it comes from ingress controller, it gets it will use the rule we have here to reach the appropriate service. Now it is the function of the service to locate the pods. Okay, you know these pods will be running our application, so the service will forward the traffic to the pod once the traffic is routed to the uh, to the target port then uh, obviously your application will be reached and the, pro the, the, the the request will be processed and it will be uh, forward back it will be sent back to the same path it will be sent back to the same path to the client and the, cli uh, the client or the user over here will receive whatever he or she has requested okay so this flow basically demonstrates how ingress controllers facilitate the routing of external traffic to specific services and you know pods within your AWS EKS cluster allowing for efficient and flexible management of incoming requests